What's up, people? I have coffee today. So, I am a bit of a coffee snob, and maybe I'll do a video about um, my whole coffee experience. My house can be a tea shop and a coffee shop. Um, and it would just be a good experience for people. But maybe I'll talk about all my coffee supplies and how I go about brewing coffee. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in that. So 2017 um, book releases. I am anticipating some. Um, this year seems kind of weird. I went to all of my resources that I use to check for um, book updates and new releases and I didn't see much. There isn't a lot of buzz for books or maybe I'm missing some stuff. I'll leave all of my all of those resources in the description box below. Um, but there isn't a lot of buzz for new books as there were for last year or even toward the end middle end of 2016. In 2017 I am looking forward to reading Saga Volume 7. Um, I have the comics back here. I collect them uh, and I love that series. It is a space opera. The graphics are beautiful. The storyline is beautiful. Also looking forward to um, the Reese of the Cormoran Strike um, book. I think it is either book four or five I can't remember and we all know it's Robert Galbraith um, aka JK Rowling that series has been my most favorite mystery series Cormor and Strike is a down and out private detective who hires a um, young woman who is a detective researcher enthusiast and they go on their adventures and it's it's really good. J.K. Rowling does a great job telling a story and developing characters. I've also started collecting those. I have the second book. I think it's back there. It's right there. <laughs> I'm also looking forward to the third book in Kevin Kwan's Crazy Rich Asian series. Uh, this book is Rich People's Problems. Crazy Rich Asians is hilarious. It is not a deep read. It's just one of those reads that you go to when you just need to just need a light read and a fun read. And then um, book three of Samantha Shannon's The Bone Season. That is coming out in 2017, um, The Song Rising. Now this book is not for everyone. I cannot recommend this to everyone. You have to be a special sort of person to really like this book. It is a extremely slow plot. It's all about world building. There are a million characters um, and there are these creatures and it's so good it's delicious to me and I love I usually love a book that is that's a fast plot um, but this one is well thought out um, some may be annoyed by it because it's taken her some time to really get to uh, the action and maybe I'll do a just a discussion for this series because there's a lot to talk about in this book um, so much. I actually have to go back and get the characters. And um, Roxane Gay's um, Difficult Women, which I think is already out. I was watching uh, Morgan Gale's video a few weeks ago and she um, said that it was released early so I was excited about that and I haven't gotten it yet so I just need to go and pick it up. Um, I've read Bad Feminist and really enjoyed it. So I want to read more of Roxane Gay. I also have her, um, the first to the Black Panther series that she's writing with Ta-Nehisi Coates. So, and I'm excited about her writing um, for the Black Panther comics. So, so, so dope. Like that is the epitome of dope dopeness. So looking forward to that. Um, those are all of the books that I'm looking forward to in 2017. Not a lot. There are series that I just want to continue on with. Um, and like I said, I didn't find any 
um, new releases or up and coming authors or debut authors that are releasing anything in 2017 if you know of any please let me know um, and I'll look them up and I want to uh, see if I want to add those to my to read list for 2017 okay people catch you all in my next video